spots and how to prevent them. And joining us right now to show us products that can diminish the look of these uh, sunspots is our beauty expert, Chantel Simmons. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, it affects a lot of women. 90% of women over the age of 50 have some sunspots or age yeah, spots. Yeah. If we could just turn back time, but we can't. They're just called wisdom spots. That's why I call them experience spots. But anyway, whatever you want to call them, yeah. they're there. So the first product you want to show us is what? Is one of the original um, products on the market. So it was a game changer in actually lighting sunspots that you could buy at the department store or the beauty counter. So it's from Clinique. So it's a few years old. It's still a best-selling product. And what it does is lightens the skin, but in a gentle way. So if you're just trying to start out trying something, you haven't used one of these products before, it's gentle enough for most skin types. So it's just to fade it out, right? Exactly. Right. Lighten the spot generally. You, you need to use it religiously, but it's a great price point and a good one to start out with. Okay. There's something brand new to Canada. Yes. So this next product that we have is from Clay de Poe. This is on counters in March, so get a little sneak preview. Um, and it is really a great product. So what it is doing is actually targeting the collagen in your skin. So mm -hmm. collagen you want in your skin. But when it interacts with the UV rays, it tends to give you that yellowish look that you get when you get older. So this is going to um, target that plus the spots and it actually breaks down the melanin. Oh. So you, it's helping you to get rid of the spots and prevent new ones from now, forming. Are we going to find this at cosmetic counters or you can find it at, at, at Shoppers Dark Market? At Whole Renfrew. At Whole Renfrew. Exclusively. Okay, yeah. okay, good. All right, next. Next we have Luminase, and I really love this product. I've actually been using it for quite a while. And it is a two-step. So you see that there's two pumps, so they keep the active ingredients separate. You put the serum on first, and then there's an activator that is the second. So you can put this on in the morning, and then just make sure you put a sunscreen over top. Again, it's breaking down the melanin in the skin, so that if it's a big clump that's causing it, it's kind of breaking them down and separating those little cells mm -hmm. so that you don't see the spots. In all these cases, too, you, it's morning and night that you apply these? Yeah, most of them, it's, you should test them, obviously, just mm -hmm. to make sure you're not allergic to any of the ingredients. But they're, they're, you can use them morning and night. And then spot correctors. Yes. How do they work? So this is if you just have that one spot. Sometimes after you um, were pregnant, you get one age spot mm -hmm. on your face or your hand. So these are kind of great because you don't need to use them all over. So the, this one is from Kiehl's. Again, a great price point. It's brand new. And it um, uses a dropper. So you could just drop right onto the spot and target that. And so do, you know, once or twice a day. Okay, so and, and this can be on any part of the body, like it's okay on any the face? Yeah, oh definitely. Yeah, yeah. All of these products are great on the face. Okay. They're all tested for the face, okay. but you could use them anywhere else on your body. Okay, next up. Next is Marcel, and this is a roll-on. So again, really foolproof. So again, this one's a great price point you can get at a drugstore. And so you can just roll it on onto any of your spots, and so really target just that one spot that's darker. Okay, I like that. I like the price point on that one. And this one. So this is Darfang. Um, and this product is going to lighten the, um, the skin and it's been tested that after eight weeks it lightens spots by 50 percent. Wow. So that's really impressive. And this one again is a pump so you could use it all over or you can target just the spot that you're trying to lighten to try and get that even skin tone. Okay, I love that. That's great. It's a little expensive but it's got some results to it. That's so now we're going to talk about concealers. Right. So yeah. as you're working on trying to lighten those spots, you're trying to conceal them. And I think the biggest problem is that most women have one concealer in their makeup bag. That's right. But you actually need to target. So a blemish would have a red tone to it, but your age spot would actually be brown. So you don't want to use the same concealer to, just to change the color. Okay. So the first product is from Smashbox. They have these color correcting primers. So you know a primer you'd put on before your makeup. Mm -hmm. And they come in different shades. You want to choose for a sunspot a peachy tone because that's going to lighten the brown spot back to sort of the same tone of the, as the rest of your face. So do you apply it on the spot? Just on the spot. On so the our spot. makeup artist Elise is showing on Hope. Just, she's targeting just the spot on Hope's face. Hi Hope. Hello. <laughs> Just the spot right there. Yeah, and so Elise is using a makeup brush just for per, like the application, or you could just use your finger, whatever. But whatever you think is going to target just that spot. 
and get it a little closer to the rest of your skin tone. And then you start the rest of your foundation So routine. do that first. Do that first on any spots you're trying to lighten just a little bit. Uh -huh. uh, and then you can go on. And so then we are showing a concealer here from MAC. And this one I just wanted to show because it's actually a darker tone. Because the concealer, then you want to match your own mm -hmm. skin tone. Mm -hmm. But you're going to pick the concealer that you would normally use on the rest of your face. Because now you've lightened that spot a little bit. And then you can conceal it with your favorite concealer. Sealer. Let's just see what that looks like. You look good. This is just a, a really quick foundation that I'm putting over top, as you naturally would. Mm -hmm. And then what you can do is just add that little bit of extra concealer over top just to give it an extra layer of coverage. And you notice how she's putting the makeup on very carefully like an artiste. <laughs> now I know most of us do this. <laughs> right. So, so at least use your finger to get onto the spots with the primer. Yeah, it's really nice because it just blends and it'll melt the product right into the skin. And what's in a primer, though? What? Why? What it has silicone, so it's a little bit waxy. So what it'll do is it'll help fill in your fine lines and wrinkles, mm -hmm. and then it'll allow your foundation just to smooth right over top. And it just stays on all day, so yeah. it doesn't. So it holds on. It's like a, when you're doing a wall. Totally. That's a primer. It makes it hang on a little yep. bit more. Yeah. And then when you're matching up, the, you're saying different skin tones for this. So That's right. So this one different. you'll see if you go um, to the Smashbox counter, they have a, a purple one, they have a yellow one, they have all different shades. So you're targeting what is the spot you're trying to lighten and they can help you at the counter with yes, your skin right. tone but yeah any if you're looking even for a concealer there are some concealers out there that come in different shades maybe green and yellow that you've seen you want to pick peachy for a sunspot for a sunspot and yeah, that's right because we get those little uh, samples of makeup and I'm going why do I have a green one here right, so, so the green so green is to what green is to so maybe at least help with the color. green is to do what it cancels out red okay so if you have any like rosacea or a little bit of redness around your nose you yes. want to use green and it cancels it out and then when you go over with your foundation you don't see green you'll just what's the other color that's available to you? Um, like a peachy? yellow yeah. and there's a purple yeah. so if you have any yellowness to your skin you want to use a light purple and it'll just take away like under your eyes and that kind of thing that's why they're and the peach is great for lightening up dark spots okay wonderful let me see how you look beautiful okay gotcha so you just have to be very careful how you apply it apply it to the exact area that needs to be covered up thank you for doing that with us today Everyone in the audience is going to go home with some of the Age Spot Diminishing Beauty products that we featured today, and it's valued at over $300. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Okay, so there you go. Lots of good giveaways today. Earlier in the show, beauty expert Bahar Nirmala gave three of our audience members advice on how to shake up their makeup routines, and Bahar made them over backstage, and we're about to see their new looks. Please welcome back Bahar Nirmala. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Put your glasses on now. <laughs> yeah, I needed to see. Okay. Just, just